and happy Sunday to everybody again. I, of course, am Carl, here to bring you another episode of Vacuum Exposition. We have a cool one that we're going to talk about tonight, but uh, before that, for all that are celebrating Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all of that, it's coming. I'll probably say this a few more times throughout the videos, because it is December, of course, and this machine is no different. I am going to... This essentially is one of my Christmas vacs that I have acquired for myself for my annual gift for Christmas. Um, so it is going to be really cool. Of course, we will be doing Christmassy stuff on the channel for this month. So without further ado, let's get on to today's exposition. All right, everybody. So for today's video, I figured I would bring out a, a machine that I acquired for myself for Christmas this year. Every year I get uh, myself a vacuum or two to put around the tree, No, this year being no different. Um, now, this one is quite a bit newer than what we uh, normally see or what I normally acquire. Um, this year I have really gotten into uh, a few different things, um, newer machines being one and uh, two Japanese machines. So, which brings us to this one. What we are looking at here this is a twin bird DD cyclone, as we can see right there. Essentially, what that means is this is a dual chamber cyclone, cyclonic, you know, technology. It came out a long time ago. We've talked about phantoms and early Dysons. That's kind of where that originates, of course. But this is quite small. Uh, no bigger than that Hoover Porta Power from J.C. Penney's we looked at last week. So, but this one is very special because it came from Japan. Now I've gotten a lot into J Japanese machines from uh, uh, hanging out with my friend Jared, uh, who uh, was able to uh, help me find a little bit more information on this, finding uh, other machines similar to this. Um, now. The cool thing about these machines from Japan, uh, and I'll, ex I'll show right here, as we're looking at right there, that is the year of manufacturing. Uh, the cool thing about Japanese machines is normally on their model tag, they have the year, big, big letters, or numbers per se, um, of when it was made. Um, so that's really cool on how to figure out when this thing came out. Um, now these were no different in terms of any other Japanese machines, especially like the Juki we looked at uh, a while back. Um, so one big key factor is right here on the handle. Um, right here you can see a few different buttons, all of course in Japanese symbols. Um, this had uh, the power switch on the hose handle right up here, much like a lot of other Japanese machines. Now, in comparison to United States machines or uh, anything other than that, generally we saw the power switch somewhere on the machine, uh, not on this one. Um, also, of course, we still had the, the chamber right here of how we would change it. So I will show right here. You take your little dust chamber off, of course, and then there would be another button right up here that would open the little door. You just dump it out, snap it back in, and you'd be back in business. Really, really cool. You also had your carrying handle right here. Do your carrying. Um, and, and, you still had your filtration and everything back here, but you also had a cord winder. So, you'd pull your cord, you'd use it, and then you'd hit your button right here, and you had cord storage, essentially. So, a lot of little features that, uh, you know, you didn't see very often on machines this small over here. Um, of course, it's in this white and atomic green, the wheels and everything. Really, really cool little machine. Now, Twinbird still, of course, is in business. They uh, have been selling this machine for quite some time, along with some stickbacks. I do know that you can actually buy Twinbird stick vacuums on Amazon currently. Uh, 
Uh, but other than that, I'm not 100% sure where you'd acquire something like this. Uh, they also had a, a model that where you turn, they turn the cyclone sideways. Uh, as well as a purple model of this, and I'll show a couple pictures of those right here. So, as you can tell, these machines have been in production for a little while. That means they're pretty popular um, little devices over there. Uh, now, unfortunately, because I got this used, it was missing a couple things. Um, unfortunately, the big thing that was missing was the uh, end of the hose, essentially, where you had your little turbo tool and whatnot. The floor tool was unfortunately not included, uh, as well as any of the other attachments, sadly. So, uh, unfortunately, it is lacking a couple things. But if there are any viewers out there that have or had a twin bird DD Cyclone, like this, uh, and you have some additional parts, uh, let me know in the comments, because I would really like it uh, and make it complete so I could use it all over the place. Um, these little Japanese machines were famous for their little, uh, turbo tools for working on the floor. Now, how I got this machine, um, it was originally owned by, uh, an American, oddly enough, and he was stationed over in Japan. He needed a vacuum at the time, so he bought himself this. Um, and in returning, he, uh, ended up, uh, keeping it, but... Didn't need it over time. Um, I think he said he was over there for about three or four years and brought it back, and it has since sat. So um, it was he imported back here, um, and uh, it was in storage. So he decided to sell it. So um, I got lucky on offer up one day, and it was sitting there for ten dollars, and I could not pass it up. So I am super happy with this. Um, one other thing I did want to include uh, that I wanted to talk about is this feature. So the extension wand of these, uh, these machines really did compact very well. So um, the extension wand, which is also part of your hose and everything, just completely folds in and very, very compact. So I had to, uh, had to show how it just comes back out. You do your vacuuming, you loosen this collar right here, put it back in, we're all good to go. Since we don't have a floor tool, unfortunately, we won't be able to really whoosh it across the ground. But uh, thankfully, because we do have the hose, I'll just kind of do a little bit of suctioning about. And uh, we'll hear how this thing runs. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so like I said, all of our controls to get this thing started are right here in the handle. So we're going to turn it on. As you can hear, we have two different speeds, a high and a low, uh, and then their red button is off, um, as I've found out. So let's do a little bit of uh, edge cleaning, I suppose. As you can see, it really does do a lot of work here, um, and if you weren't noticing, it does quite a bit throw that uh, stuff in there uh, around in that around that cyclone. So, really, really cool little machine. I'm super, super happy with it. But uh, hope you enjoyed this little demo we did of it. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed our little run demo uh, as well as our little mini history lesson on the uh, uh, Twin Bird DD Cyclone um, from. 2013. Uh, it is a really, really cool machine, and I'm 
really excited that I was able to find one here in the United States. Uh, usually you have to import one and um, it's not always the easiest. So um, really, really fun, really, really cool. I really hope to find those attachments for it, but uh, either way, it is a really cool little uh, conversation piece. But uh, either way, you guys all have a great week. Uh, of course, we are still doing Christmassy things, so uh, keep on a lookout for that. But uh, either way, Merry Christmas, and we will catch you next week.